Hi everybody, it's Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo. And today on our 5 Minute Magic series, we're going to talk about smudging. Now, smudging is oh, it's actually an old Native American way, although many cultures did it, a way of using sage and other herbs to get rid of negative energies and to pull in positive energies. Uh, people often get confused by saging. They think it's, it can be too time consuming or they're just not sure what they should say. Um, and that just depends on what you are. A lot of pagan people would say, where there was darkness, let there be light. If you were Christian, you might cite the Lord's Prayer. If you were Asatru like myself, you would uh, probably galder the names of several different runes. For our purpose, I'm going to go the Wiccan route and uh, do the where there was darkness, let there be light. Now the thing about smudging that you need to remember is you need to do all of your corners of your house, all the windows, all the door frames. You need to open your cabinets and switch out that energy because negative energy can get stuck in cabinets. Your bathroom cabinets, you want to do your washing machine, your dryer, your heating and cooling vents, your sinks and toilets and bathtubs, anything that has an exit or an entrance into your house needs to be thoroughly smudged. Now, for our purposes today, we're using white sage. Very simple, you can get it at uh, almost any uh, pagan or new age shop. And you wanna make sure that it's lit. And sometimes it can take a minute to light it, but I primed this one so it should be pretty fast. Now some people will use a, a shell or something to keep their sage in, others will hold it in their hand. This you would use if you put saw, um, sand in it, you can use a briquette and then use the, the flaked sage to go around. It helps if you have some kind of a fan and you would start, I like to start at the left. So I would go where there was darkness, let there be light and I continue around to the next corner of the room. And you use the fan not only to spread the, the smoke, but it also keeps it burning because these go out really easily. And you, you can make, what I like to do is either make the sign of the star or the sign of Thor's hammer when I'm at a stopping point. And you continue on to the next point with where there was darkness let there be light i'll do the thor's hammer again all the spaces where there was darkness let there be light and because i have a magical cabinet here i would open these doors and smudge where there was darkness, let there be light. Now if your smudge stick goes out, don't worry, just relight it. The magic is not ruined if it goes out. Yeah. This stuff tends to go out easily. Inside. And close up the good energy in there. And continue. Where there was darkness, let there be light. And mirrors, too, are especially good. People see mirrors as portals, and they can be, between this life and the next. Where there was darkness, let there be light. Make sure you get your cabinets and all of your magical tools and your altar. And if you start in the left side of the room, you go all the way around your house and finish in the same area. Where there was darkness, let there be light. Then what you want to do is, you can leave this burning if you like a little bit extra, or you can smash it out like a cigarette. And that is just the most basic way of smudging. I mean, there's a million different ways you can do it. You can use resins and dragon's blood, and you can use incense if you don't have sage. The idea of the sage, though, is it, it's kind of a conduit between this world and the next world and carries our intents and messages with it. Um, now, if you have small children or you have asthma 
or you're on a ship and you can't do the smoke, there's a, you can get a smokeless sage that is in a bottle and you spray that. We, this is not it, but we make a brand like this and it's just easily in a bottle. This is holy water. And you can go around and do the same thing with the holy water or the smokeless sage or the dragon's butt. And you would say the same thing and you would go and do your cabinets and your toilets and your sinks and your stairs, especially up and down stairs. If you have stairs that when you walk in, the first thing you see is those stairs, that is a trap for negative energy. Uh, so it's helpful if you put a mirror on the top to reflect it back down so it doesn't get stagnant. And you would just smudge it the way you do anything else. Smudging is very easy. It is one of the first steps in magic. Uh, goes along with purifying yourself. And you can smudge yourself as well if you need to. Um, very simple to do, costs very little money, and you would notice a difference right away. Now before I close, there is one thing to remember, sage and dragon blood. Sage is kindly remove the negative energies from my dwelling and my house, please bring in positive energies. Uh, it's more gentle. Dragon's blood resin is get the fuck out of my house. It's very strong and very um, grr. So if you, you know, you can start out doing the lighter stuff, but if that doesn't work, then I suggest you bump up to the dragon's blood and you do it the exact same way. Um, this has been Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo. Please hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, uh, leave them, contact us. What would you like to see? What spells would you like to learn how to do? We're always interested in your opinion. And I look forward to seeing you again.